ever had a book in your hand that once you start reading it, you can't put it down? And once you actually put it down, you can't help but stop thinking about it. You even go to restaurants while waiting for that rich, robust tomahawk steak to arrive. Sipping on that good wine, you still carry on reading it. The book that we are reviewing today is one such book, authored by Nicolette Mashile, the title of which is What's Your Move? A Collection of Ordinary Financial Lessons. Because think about it, I mean at the beginning of the year, as it is now, we set our long-term and medium-term goals. We make New Year's resolutions, and us succeeding in those goals, it's largely linked to how we actually perform on a financial point of view. Let me give you a few examples. My goal is to read at least one book a month for the next 12 months, right? But that book has to be a book that basically makes me a better person or at the least increases my money management acumen and financial savviness. Another goal is for me to be more peaceful. And there's a chapter in the book titled The Best Sleeping Pill in the Market where the author addresses the issue of having an emergency fund. The last example that I'll give you is this. This year I want to lead an extra healthy life. But guess what? Going to the gym costs money. And don't get me started on building up a healthy diet. That even gets you more in the lurch, right? So having said that and seeing the timing of this video being published, I see it as most suitable for us to review this book. But before we get into the book review, let's get to know the author. Who is Nicolette Mashile? Believe it or not, Nicolette Mashile is a major influence to me. And subsequently, the reason why this YouTube channel actually exists. Seeing her firsthand inspired me to actually start. And that's how It Starts With You basically came along, in part. To contextualize it better, here is a video clip of Nicolette Mashile in the days of Derek Amsadi, right? It's like, I want to cry, but I also want to celebrate because it's been a great journey for me. And um, I think for somebody who's only worked formally for just under five years, I have achieved so much from being employed by someone else. And at that time, I had I had no channel, zero channel experience. But at that time, I was using my phone um, and I was doing those impromptu motivational type things, you know? Um, yeah, so that, that's what I've been doing. So basically, just to jump straight into it, my brother, in terms of YouTube per se, ne? So basically back in 20, I think 2018 or so, I was already an avid uh, consumer of YouTube, right? Mm. But in South Africa, there weren't many people that I was following. I was following a lot of these international people who was more motivational and educational. So mm. if you name a TED talk, I've probably watched it, bro. Mm. Whether it's on uh, public speaking, personal development, goals, motivation, relationships, whatever, your TEDx talks, your TED talks, same, same story. Um, but here in South Africa, the first YouTube I got exposed to was that, that financial fitness bunny. Let me see, where's the book? I have a book as well. What's your Machine. move? Nicolette Machine. Nicolette Machine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the first person where, from SA who I, I was drawn to. And how she was doing it is the way I wanted to do it. So I was like, no, man, I can do this thing, you know? Then I was I would listen. She would just go off the cuff just with a theme, mm. you know. So I was like, ah, I can do this thing. I think at the age at the time I was like 29, 30 because I'm 33 this year. Oh, I'm okay. still turning 33. This so I was like, I have enough life experience to dabble into any topic and share my experience. And here's a video that I took in 2019. And your perception changes, right? Sometimes you get annoyed. Sometimes you get angry. At the wrong flipping people. Any similarities? I bet you can see the similarities because the influence was there. I basically jacked her style to an extent in the early days, that is. And then I developed and basically evolved to the YouTuber that you can then see today. 
The question is why would I be so inspired by Nicolette Mashili? Well, here's why. She has the typical Jimmy comes to Joburg story, born in Bushback Ridge, raised in Pumalanga. She's essentially the same age as me, two months older than me, right? She dropped out of Rhodes University and shares the story in a book. Uh, being a varsity dropout, um, I, I don't think I actually was a varsity dropout. I just think I dropped out of Rhodes because it was difficult. Let's be honest, guys. It Rhodes, e tough, guys. They say Vitz gives you the edge, but Rhodes, Rhodes pushes you over the edge. Hey, their slogan is where leaders learn. Hey, it's not a lie, eh? It's not a lie. But you know what? I did learn. Even though I didn't get a degree, I am a leader and I did learn. She's academically inclined and holds five degrees to her name, so she bounced back. And one of those includes a BA in Human and Social Studies. She is currently a co-host of the popular youth talk show host Delhi Teta. She's also a TV and radio personality and of course an actress. What is it that this girl can't do? She is further a YouTuber, having amassed an impressive subscription following of 162,000 people, right? This spanning over five years with her first video being posted on the 20th of September 2016. And to date, as of the time of this recording, she has released or at least published 389 videos. Boy, is that impressive. Quick lesson. Making it on YouTube takes a ton of effort, hard work, commitment, discipline, and a never-quit mentality. In 2016, she founded her agency known as the Financial Fitness Fund which focuses on empowering others in terms of financial literacy, the objective of which is to simplify it, particularly in Africa. And of course, she is the best-selling author of What's Your Move, a collection of ordinary financial lessons, which we'll get into now now. As at recording this video, she has a combined social media following of 144,000 people on Instagram, 148,000 people on Twitter. Facebook, she blew it out the park. She has 430,000 people following her. And LinkedIn is her smallest profile with 1,900,000 people following her. As I've mentioned already on YouTube, it's 162,000 subscribers. Hi, Lesejo speaking. How can I help you? I have never met Nicolette before. But I did get a call from her. Here's the story. So basically, I was a part of the first group of people that pre-ordered the book, right? And I was a bit jealous. She had gone and basically physically delivered the book to some other fans of hers. As far as free state, you know, when you follow on social media, you know, but that's okay. I patiently waited for my book to arrive it didn't arrive right there was a few misunderstandings miscommunication with her team but she then personally called me apologized and said that they would redress the issue address the issue and basically ensure that i get my book the following day i got the book delivered i was so happy i took this photo when the, when the book had been delivered and then i just parked the book so you can then ask yourself why was i in such a hurry to to read it but it's because you know that formal feeling right but essentially i was busy with a few other books so i parked the book then i was ready to read it seven months later read the book reread it specifically for this book review so here goes hey guys so you have to make sure you have to subscribe to this video because it's amazing hey! before we even get into the publishing aspect of things let's talk about the cover had I not known who Nicolette Machile is and what she's done,
for young minds and even older minds in terms of finances, I probably would have just walked past this book purely based on the color. But I do understand why she chose the color, right? She chose pink, women representation, you know how it is. But as time went by, she did become someone who's more inclusive rather than exclusive. And if you have been on this journey with me for a long time, you will remember that it used to be called Baraka Masadi. She's a person now that believes more in inclusivity than exclusivity. And I then realized that money does not have a gender. Money is for everybody. Money is for men and women equally. So we then became the financial fitness bunnies, right? Um, so this book is for everybody. It's just a pity though that I couldn't find exactly her reasoning for choosing this cover. I looked and I could have shown that previously on her social media, I had seen her basically state and justify why she chose the cover for what it was. I just couldn't trace it back. So for, forgive me for that. Umandla, I guess. But back to the publication. This book was first published by Financial Bunny back in 2020. And the publishing management aspect was handled by Claire Rose Julius with editing completed by Wesley Thompson and printing was done by Novus Printing. In terms of the genre, it is non-fiction and is focused on personal finance. As my sister once said, there's a time to read any type of book, but when it comes to finances, that time is every single day. My sister is a genius. Personal finance is exactly that. It's personal. And Nicolette Mashile reminds you that from time to time. Simply put, personal finance as a term covers the concepts of managing your money, saving and investing. It also includes banking, budgeting, mortgages, investments, retirement planning, insurance and tax planning. Her book comes in the form of an e-book or the physical hard copy. Are you going to be reading it on ebook if you're going to be reading it from the hard copy i would say please get the hard copy because i've worked so hard on this thing so yeah specifically for us who like to caress the book who like to touch it smell it basically highlight things of topical interest to us or key points that the author is pointing out hard copies for us are essential it's like us who took our time to move to digital when they were still cds i'm just one of those i'm from that generation this book is well structured it has an introduction, 17 core chapters, as well as the conclusion. So it has 19 chapters in total. It has 356 pages, which includes the disclaimer. Now remember that none of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please, please speak to somebody that is certified and registered with the FSCA. The forward by Mr. Manike, as well as the table of contents. The way it's written means you don't necessarily need to read it in chronological order. Any new introduction of concepts or any new data that she puts in at later chapters, there's references of where you can get it earlier on in the book. So say, for example, she's introducing a new concept and she defined it earlier in the book or she made more reference and more importance to it earlier in the book, then she'll refer you back there. So you don't necessarily need to read from the first chapter until the last chapter in that order though there is some storytelling within the book itself i believe context is important book lingo is responsible for the typesetting which was set on 11 point on 15 point palatino linotype what does this mean it means the font size and overall style took into consideration the ideal visibility of words, the number of words per page, the length of each chapter and the overall flow of the person reading it. This further meant an average of 31 lines per page, 10 words per line and an estimated 310 to 330 words per page. Taking into consideration in chapters and introduction stanzas or paragraphs, I would say she pinned down a guesstimated 112,000 words. Whoa. Okay, enough with the technicalities. Basically, I read this book, despite its denseness and density, I read it over a period of a week and a half, 
with my first read actually being in just two days. I only picked up seven grammatical errors. I mean, that's impressive given that it has over 100,000 words. But furthermore, it's super practical, right? It's a super practical book. Because at the end of the day, one of the most important things we need to remember is that acquired knowledge is not going to help you if it is not put into action. So you... It's superb in terms of the storytelling. And of course, those South African nuances make it interesting and make you actually enjoy the book more. The smart approach that Nicolet uses is that every single chapter ends with a question. What's your move? Which is the title of the book, right? So the book is called What is Your Move? And basically I'm saying we've been talking about how to budget. We've been talking about how to make sure that you get a good, you protect your credit score. We've been talking about black tax. We've been talking about how to buy a property. Now I'm saying what is your move? She uses a lot of storytelling which is good for the reader. These are personal stories making you relate to the journey. It starts with her being transparent regarding her journey while not positioning herself as an expert, a subject matter expert. If you are looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody that is certified and registered with the FSCA. She opens the curtain, she opens the veil, she becomes vulnerable, allowing us to relate and resonate with her. The titles for the chapters are quite enticing, with examples like financial lessons from a jail cell, financial lessons from a hospital room, the price of love, the property stock fell that went viral. She could have easily titled it How Property Stock Fells Work, but it doesn't quite hit the spot in the same way now, does it? These all make you wonder about how her story would actually go how interesting it actually is to be in her shoes with every single story that she shares. An important thing to note is that Nicolette has a progressive YouTube channel with just under 400 videos published, so she's not lacking in content. If you have followed her long enough, you would note that she was smart enough to take from that YouTube content, transcribe it, into text, curate it, which is not an easy thing, and then share it with added value and context for you, the reader. Another key approach is making it a thick book, therefore making sure that she leaves no stone unturned. She wanted to ensure that she spews out all types of knowledge, all types of her experiences, anything that can create value for you, the reader while being true to the South African reading it, whilst also being relatable to the international reader. Her approach was also to be simple, using minimal jargon. Where jargon was used, she gave the necessary clarity. This is important and key so that the author does not lose the reader. Knowing very well that the overarching goal was to educate, teach, and trigger you into action. If there's one thing that you can't take away from Nicolette in this book is that her passion jumps out of the pages. She once said, or I once heard, that your win is her win, your loss is her loss. So essentially, she wants us all to perform and do well as far as our finances go. The simplicity with which she moves from basic subject matter such as managing a budget and escaping debt to the depth of understanding and comprehension she has of the market, shares, stocks and the like, that is quite impressive. Particularly because I've avoided the subject of shares, stocks, how they differ and how they impact my life for quite a long time. She suddenly pushed me into wanting to know more about it, practically so. She has given me the necessary shove in the right direction. She also shares on her experience of real estate, purchasing different types of properties, the advantages and disadvantages of each, and most importantly, the strategies you can use to purchase these, starting with knowing and understanding your credit record. I encourage you to buy the book in order to be fully immersed in the detail, not just the superficial top layer code that I'm providing for you now in this book review.
I honestly enjoyed this book. Nicolette did a good job. She justified my love of reading and she represented other authors well. But what stood out for me is the chapter dealing with property stock fails. It stood out because I have just come out of a property stock fail that collapsed. Vision shattered. I liked her honesty, particularly in highlighting the challenges faced, how reality hits harder than what you initially envisioned, particularly as time is the real test. I could relate to this chapter, I put myself in her shoes and immediately knew how I was going to approach the year that is coming. Secondly, she is open about some of her dating journey, Umjolo. Talking about how to handle money in a relationship. Chapter 17, The Price of Love definitely stood out. I was wondering while I was reading it whether she is not being honest with us and whether maybe she has actually been married before or possibly in a past life. I mean being married myself, I can tell you for free that during pre-marital counseling, the majority of what Nicolette shared is discussed or at least was discussed. She may have just used different terminology for it. In this chapter, she discussed what she calls the fierce five which include debt, money, personality and attitude, income disparity, in-laws and extended family, this is mine, that is yours mentality. These are the elements of seeing money, perspectives of seeing money, and they need to be handled well in a relationship. They need to be managed well in a relationship, particularly in marriages. There are many things that stood out for me. But the chapter that dealt on black tax, titled Conversations with my father, black tax. <laughs> that chapter was fire. She gave her changed perspective around the concept of black tax, with the major influence being the views she got from her dad. Her father outlines the different types of black tax giving me something to think about or is it Nicolette that outlines the different types of black tags that still have the same result they give me something to think about subscribe to this video please If you've seen any of the other book reviews that we've done on this channel, then you are aware that we don't necessarily rate books and pin them against one another. But in this particular case, I have to mention that there is a rating by takealot.com. They gave a rating of 4.7 out of 5. That's pretty impressive. And of course, Amazon.com also has its own rating. And remember, Amazon is US based. It's multi-international. And they gave them, they gave her a rating of 4.3 out of 5. 4.3 out of 5. So nothing below 80%. It is a bestseller after all. I mean, it's available on bargain books, exclusive books, online, takealot.com, amazon.com even on her website, what's your move? So how can it not be judged to be a good book at this point in time? But of course, this is an opportunity for you to decide for yourself. Follow her on all social media pages. Follow her on YouTube specifically, since now I'm a YouTuber myself. And then read the book, buy the book for a friend or family member apply the lessons that are entrenched therein, and then you see what progress you make. But the key is really in starting and doing your best at it. In conclusion, as Nicolette states, we are what we do. So you can't just watch this video, get value, and then not buy the book. If you bought the book, then hopefully you're doing what I'm doing in this video. You're sharing it with the next person so that they are also given the opportunity to get as much value as you and I have basically received from it. Ultimately, money management is a verb. You need to act on it. You think and then act. This will thus benefit generations to come. This will also benefit you during your generation while you are still enjoying your life. Thank you, thank you for sticking around until the end. 
I look forward to you watching other content on this channel. I know as a fact that there was value for you. That's why you sat until the end. So like, subscribe, share, press the notification bell so that you don't miss the next piece of content that I share with you. And of course, remember, it starts with you. Cheers.